not much different. Okay, well, have you thought much about our previous discussion? Yes, I have. What have you thought about? I thought about losing April. And, well, without April, I have no purpose. Why does losing April make you feel this way? What can April offer you? Life and prosperity. But I've chosen to get rid of her. Life and prosperity. That sounds promising. Have you been taking your medication? If I hadn't, I wouldn't be here.
someone help. Oh, Christ. Why do I make things so difficult? Why didn't I just walk out of the cubicle like any normal human being would? <laughs> Don't beat yourself up, mate. This wouldn't happen if you learnt to relax, would it? What do you mean by that? Do you know why I'm there? Get yourself up on your feet. Surely haven't you broken your ass from that height? You didn't answer my question. Can you tell me why one minute I was walking out onto the road, about to be run over, and the next I'm in a cubicle with a toilet and then I climb out the window and I find myself on the gravel. And now I'm being spoken to by a man in a leather jacket while I'm incapacitated with pain. Am I imagining this? Is this real? Oh God, oh God, it's real. I'm, I'm dead. You're pretty neurotic, aren't you? Oh, what was that for? To snap you out of this hysteria. To show you that you're well and truly alive. Oh, me and you, Danny boy. We're going to get you out and about. We're going to have some fun. You know my name. You do know where I am. Therefore, you can tell me why I'm here. Oh, Danny. Danny, Danny, Danny. I don't know why you're here. I don't know why anyone is anywhere. I find myself places and I've no idea how I got there. But even so, I don't ask boring questions. I just go with the flow, ride the waves, drink in the beer and uh, you know what else? <laughs> so, how about you stop asking stupid questions and just take it easy? Actually, sorry I asked, but you know, I'm paralyzed here with pain. You could come over and give me a hand to get up. Then perhaps I'll stop asking these boring questions and we can have some fun. Oh yeah, sure. Sorry mate. Oh. Ah, there we go. Wasn't too hard, was it? Now, what say you we go get a few Jaegers, a few tequilas, oh, and my favourite, sugar ball. Then we go down a few clubs, meet some women. What do you think of that, Danny boy? Yeah, I'd like to have drinks, meet women. Who wouldn't? <laughs> That's my boy. Come on. Wait up. Oh, all right, Danny boy. <laughs> What's the matter? Do you have some doubts about, about our hedronistic night out with old Jack? Jack, that's your name. Oh, well done. You didn't think it polite enough to ask my name. How rude of you, Daniel. I'm sorry, but social skills lack from time to time. But I was flat on my back. I wanted to get out of that situation. Thanks, by the way. Ah, it's all right. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, I'm not very good with names anyway. I just sort of guessed them. But you knew my name. <sighs> I guessed. I don't know whether it's some psychic power I've got or it's uh, just a talent of mine. These drinks are pretty good. I'm feeling a bit drunk already. <laughs> Steady, Danny boy. Don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> I'm way ahead of myself. In fact, I'm not far ahead of myself. I'm not even thinking of April anymore. In fact, who is April? Oh, she's uh... <laughs> Come on, let's have a drink. To the absence of April. <laughs>
You know you're psychic or you've got this talent for guessing names or whatever you like to call it. How did you know my name was Danny? What makes me look like a Danny? Well, you... I'm not whiny. I'm sensitive. Same thing. Yeah, Danny boy, have some of that. You'll put hairs on your hairs. I know it's still young, stay with me. Danny. 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 Danny, look at it. Danny. 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 with Jack and now I'm here. Don't try that one, Danny. You can't get out of it that easily. I've smacked the meat cooking in the oven and I've seen the table set up for two. But I didn't. Well, you're dressed for the occasion, aren't you? job being no longer safe. Safe? Yes, safe. They don't like the way I work. Mmm, <coughs> this is delicious. Sorry if I seem a little down, it's just this whole scenario at work. It's all out of hand, I can need this crap on my birthday. I turned 26, no kids, no marriage, and by the looks of it, no job. Well, I wouldn't worry about kids. You've got at least another five years on you. <laughs> what, before my biological clock is up? The cheek of it. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to offend. I was just trying to comfort you. What did you mean about your job not being safe? Am 
man took a young girl hostage, threatening to kill her if we charged him. It went on for a while, at least half an hour. I was feeling pretty anxious and fed up. My hand was beginning to ache. I noticed he started digging the knife into a neck a little deeper. I felt frustration that we couldn't just save it there and then. Well, that's when I decided to pull the trigger. Well, it sounds to me like he deserved it. Yeah, I know, and now I'm the one in trouble. What? You didn't kill him, did you? Yes. But you could have shot him in the leg or something. Two wrongs don't make a right. What do you know? Were you there? Uh, sorry, well, it's just that, do you not feel, like, guilty? I'm not an apathetic person, Danny. I just thrive off my own impulses, and it felt right to shoot him. I wanted to save that girl. How would I have felt if he had killed her? Well, of course you'd feel upset, but what about his family, his loved ones? There were other ways. What if he had children? Did he care about his family when he was out mugging people and robbing people to feed his habit? No, he didn't. Everyone deserves a second chance. And just because somebody commits a crime doesn't mean he hasn't got loved ones. Addictions can make you do strange things. Why are you so sympathetic with this monster? Do you like playing devil's advocate, Danny? Or do you have a chip on your shoulder? It's one or the other. Actions have consequences. And innocent people usually get hurt. I'd just like to give more than one perspective. Well, your perspective is flawed. Now look what you've done. You've ruined my birthday. I'm terribly sorry. How can I make it up to you? Well, you can make it up to me by... By? By serving that gorgeous chocolate gatto cake, which we can eat upstairs. Sounds great. Ellie. in April. Who's April? No one. I have to use the bathroom. Danny? Danny!
observing your behavior. Your mind set and your need for sanity over the past several months. I thought it was only necessary to restore some belief back into your so-called life. Meeting different people with different stories to tell has hopefully changed your perspective on life. I know your biggest fear was life. It was the need to take control of life, which leads to your need to control death. But I am so sorry, Danny. You do not have control over death. Death has control over you. You may take your life, hurt those that love you, concern those who acquainted you, and shock those that read about you. A young professional takes his life. It would be a real seller. You set this up? How? No. I simply instigated. You see, I meet a lot of people from different backgrounds, different nationalities and different faiths. But the same question arises. Who am I? What happens when I die? The answer is simple. I don't know. It is one of life's mysteries. And if we had answers, would there be arts, films, novels, poems and debates? Do we create illusions in order to save our own sanity? Do we work all hours to pay the rent? Work all our lives for a pathetic pension? Do we fall in love to escape the grim reality? Is life based on luck? Or are we predestined to be who we are? Just like any other story, this one has a beginning, a middle, and an end.